I went through the phone book and said, Lord, show me where I can get a job working for deaf people. Check it out. I got the job. I called her up. She was just getting ready to put an ad in for an activities director. So I slid right in. God just whoop, got me right in there. I got the job part-time, but it was better than nothing. Got the job, was able to play with my sign language and socialize with the folks. And they were so cool and so much fun. I just loved the job. It was more fun than work. Now, one day, the boss, who I had a phenomenal, so we think. That's why you can't trust in man, baby cakes. You got to trust in God all the way. No matter how much man says they're in, the, in your corner, you got to trust God period. This woman, who I thought was my ace, sat down and let me know some things that happened and they were going to need me. Please be available because Christmas was coming and they needed me to deliver wine and blah, 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 blah. Now, for the first time in two years, that woman pulled rank on me. And, I, and she was intimidating. I mean, looking over the glasses, writing on a piece of paper on her desk, and she said, so I need you to be here. Tuesday, 7.30. That's it. Thank you. And I'm sitting there like, <laughs> And I'm praying in my mind, praying in my mind. And the Lord reminded me of the scripture that said, if a person coerces you to do something that goes against your conscience, it works against them as sin as well, as it does you if you do it. So I explained that scripture to her. And I said, I know this, I'm not not doing it because it's actually not in my job description, but I'm not doing it because it will go against my conscience. She said, okay, thank you. There was no goodbye, you're dismissed, you can go, none of that. And I just eased my big old happy hips out of there and shook all the way home. Ooh, Lord, what's she gonna do, what's she gonna do? Two days later, I go back to work, she comes over, puts her arm around me. I think she's going to apologize. She's real sweet. Hi, Pat. How you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You know, oh, I forgot to tell you, we had a meeting. By the time she got through, she had told me with a big smile. You talking about the Judas kiss? Yeah. She gave me this big, loving smile as she booted my butt out the door and told me I no longer was employed. Now, for those of you who think, well, look at that. See, see, somebody took something from you that God gave you. No, wait a doggone minute, y'all. No, they didn't and they couldn't. What God did is this. I left that Thursday with my tail tucked between my legs with tears running down my eyes. Not with my feelings hurt, but because I grew to love those people and I was going to miss them. That's what hurt me more than anything else. I drove home through the tears saying, well, Lord, I know you got my back. I know you knew I did this for you, blah, 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 blah. Whether it was required or not, I did it according to my own conscience. Bam, I left it like that. Got home Friday morning. Had barely opened my eyes. I get a phone call, nine in the morning. Hello, is this Patricia Love? Yes, it is. Well, we'd like to know, I'm calling from the Pasadena Board of Education and we are finally uh, um, opening up positions for uh, teacher's aides. And we need a teacher's aide in the special ed department. Would you be able to start Monday? I said, I'm on it. I'll be there. What time? I went from two days a week, four hours a day. That is what? Eight hours a week? Two, 
five days a week, six hours a day, and a higher hourly wage at that.